I chuckled to myself as I gazed at the shiny new putter my wife had given me. Little did I know, this gift came with a twist. She made me promise that I could only use it when she picked out my golf outfit. A few days later, excitement bubbled up as I showed the putter to my golf buddy Jeff. I promised him that I'd wield it the next time we played. Suddenly, I found myself juggling two promises. My golf plans clashed with my wife's, and she seized the opportunity to ensure I felt a tad embarrassed. The golf course became my runway, and her outfit selections left me slightly flustered. Wearing a skirt wasn't terrible, but the high heels were a menace to my golf game. And reapplying lipstick after every shot became an unexpected ritual. As I stood on the first hole, a triple bogey seemed imminent. Then, a familiar voice broke through my concentration, Come on Jeff, it's taking us forever. And I think your stilettos might be bad for the greens, but they're great for your legs. John's laughter echoed, Next hole, I'll let you hit from the latest tee. My cheeks flushed with a mixture of amusement and embarrassment. This wasn't my finest day on the links, that was for sure. But as we reached the 19th hole, Jeff graciously bought the drinks, and the camaraderie eased the sting of my subpar performance. As the days passed, I found myself reflecting on that quirky golf outing more and more. Strangely, what began as a fun experiment had opened a new door in my life. The experience of embracing a different side of myself on the golf course led me to ponder my identity in a deeper way. After some soul-searching, I made the courageous decision to embark on a journey of self-discovery and transformation. With the unwavering support of my wife and friends, I began my transition to become the woman I had always felt was inside me. It was a process of rediscovering my true self, embracing my femininity, and understanding the complexities of gender identity. As my transformation unfolded, my passion for golf remained a constant in my life. And soon, I found myself drawn to the Women's National Golf League. Nervous yet excited, I stepped onto the course for my first game as a woman. The camaraderie and sense of belonging were unlike anything I had experienced before. The women welcomed me with open arms, celebrating not only my golfing skills but also my journey of self-acceptance. The transition wasn't without challenges. Adapting to new physical strengths and limitations required time and effort. However, with the support of my fellow golfers and a determination that stemmed from my own personal growth, I persevered. My golf game evolved alongside my identity, and I became a stronger, more confident player. Joining the Women's National Golf League wasn't just about the sport, it was about embracing my authentic self, connecting with like-minded individuals, and breaking down barriers that limited my potential. Each swing of the club became a celebration of my journey, a reminder that I was capable of more than I had ever imagined. Over time, my name echoed in the league as a symbol of resilience and transformation. My story became an inspiration to others who were navigating their own paths of self-discovery. As I stepped onto the greens, I no longer carried the weight of two promises made on that fateful day. Instead, I embodied the promise I had made to myself, to live authentically and wholeheartedly as the woman I was always meant to be.